Hi, today I have this super simple purple sparkly eyeshadow tutorial for you guys and I'm gonna share every little step in case you're a beginner so it can be easy for you to recreate. So let's get started with the very first step which is the primer for the eyeshadows. I'm gonna be using the e.l.f. Cosmetics Camo Concealer and I'm gonna blend it out with the e.l.f. Cosmetics sponge. Make sure that it's nice and blended before you move on to the next step because you want the eyeshadows to also blend out really good. And if you're new to my channel and want to know how I do my eyebrows i will leave the tutorials i have in the de description box below today i'm going to be using this eyeshadow palette from too faced the better than chocolate i'm going to grab this eyeshadow right here and i'm going to apply it on my crease the next step was supposed to be the tape but i kind of forgot and i just remembered right now so you don't want to skip that step because it's going to help you so much for this style of eyeshadows it's just going to make it a lot easier for you and then I'm just going to continue to apply that same eyeshadow on my crease from the inner corner to the outer corner. Like it's going to be a shape of a rainbow from corner to corner. But I do want this eyeshadow to go above the crease. So I'm just going to keep adding layers and just blending, blending it up towards the eyebrow. And I'm also going to extend it just a little bit towards the top of the, the eyebrow. And you can see that this eyeshadow is obviously not dark. So it's going to be very easy to blend out. Then I'm going to apply this dark brown eyeshadow and you can see that it's only on the outer part of my eyelid. So I'm going to start by applying it right on the corner of my eye. Once most of the product is right there, then I'm going to start blending it out. So it's not going to look like an eyeliner at all. I don't want any harsh edges and I don't want it to look like a, a smoky eyeliner either. So I just want this eyeshadow to be on the outer part of my eyelid. So I'm going to just keep blending it out and I will be applying a few layers because I want to deepen up the color just a little bit but that's very important also using a small brush and for every layer that I apply I always apply it on the outer part of my eyelid and then I just keep blending it out towards the center of my eyelid but not so much and then also extend it towards the tail of the eyebrow then I'm going to grab a little bit of the same e.l.f. Cosmetics concealer with my finger and apply it on my eyelid. I don't want to apply too much on the outer part of my eyelid because I don't want to cover up a lot of the brown eyeshadow that I already have right there. We're not going to do any kind of a cut crease or anything, so it has to be nice and blended. And this part is for the glitter, so the glitter can hold on to the eyelid. So if you don't have like adhesive glue or anything for the glitter, concealer works really good too. Once it's nice and blended, I'm gonna grab the glitter and I'm gonna be using this one from Anastasia and, the, uh, and it's called Frosted. I'm going to apply it with Anastasia's number 18 brush and make sure the concealer is still a bit creamy when you apply because if it's already dry, then the glitter is not going to stick to the eyelid and you also don't want to have too much of the concealer. And I really love this look because it's still very simple even with the glitter because the whole eyelid is not covered up with the glitter. It just adds a little bit of sparkle to the eyelid and it looks really cute. Then I'm going to apply the same dark brown eyeshadow on my lower lash line, but just on the outer part, I'm going to connect it with the eyeliner right there so you don't leave a gap because then that's going to look weird. And I'm going to blend it towards the center just a little bit. Make sure you use a very small brush for this part because it is a dark eyeshadow and you don't want to start with too much on that area right there then I'm going to apply a lighter brown eyeshadow on the inner part and I'm just gonna make sure that it's blended out really good with the dark eyeshadow I just didn't want this area to be too dark now I'm going to apply the Maybelline Lash Stiletto Mascara on my top and bottom lashes. On my top lashes, I'm going to apply two layers and my bottom lash is just one layer and this mascara is waterproof. And of course, this is a part where you can add your fake lashes. I just wanted to keep this look simple and I feel like with just the natural lashes, it looks really, really cute. And for the last step, I'm going to add this really cute purple shimmery eyeshadow on my inner corner as a little highlight. And I love that this doesn't make the look dramatic at all. Just It's just another little cute detail and it still looks very simple. So let me know in the comments below what you think of the completed look and of these eyeshadows right here. If you're a beginner, I really hope this tutorial was helpful. Thank you all so much for your love and your support. I love you and I will see you in my next video. Bye!